What's up? <laughs> sorry. I thought it'd be funny, it wasn't. I'm sorry. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Kaylee Cuoco bloopers on the Big Bang Theory. I am Spock. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at times the Penny actress flubbed her lines, broke character, or messed up in other ways. Which Kaylee outtake makes you laugh the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Balls. From neighbours to friends to the series central will they won't they couple, and eventually husband and wife, Leonard and Penny have certainly been through a lot together. There's no symposium. Leonard lied to me. Isn't that right, Leonard? I don't know what to say. So we imagine that if we assembled a word cloud of the most common words to show up on Kaylee's script, Leonard would come up pretty big. However, when standing up for Leonard in this scene from season one, Quoco stumbles over his name. There's no symposium. Leonard, Leonard. <laughs> Leonard. Balls. <laughs> in her defense, these were still early days, so perhaps she just needed some more time to get acquainted with it. But hey, at least she said symposium correctly, right? Remember how Leonard told you we couldn't come to your performance because we were attending a symposium on molecular positronium? I remember symposium. Number nine, breaking the fourth wall. With Sheldon and Amy cohabiting across the hall, Leonard and Penny decide to celebrate their new Sheldonless living arrangements. It's Sheldon's bedtime. He is in for the night. Wow. Not believe we are alone in our own apartment. And how does one do that exactly? Dance in your underwear, of course. Penny's unimpressed by Leonard's suggestion. However, not as much as one audience member who makes their feelings loud and clear. Hey, Sheldon's not here, so we are going to put on music and dance in our underwear. <laughs> I'm sorry, she said ew. <laughs> Kaylee's taken by surprise and breaks soon after. Johnny Galecki has a different but still hilarious reaction to the vocal audience member. He and Quoco put on a united front while dealing with the unexpected interruption. <laughs> well, at least we know the audience's reactions are honest. Number 8. A supportive co-worker, kinda. As we just mentioned, it took Penny and Leonard some time to shake off the weird third wheel in their relationship. In this episode, Bernadette is surprised to learn that the newlyweds aren't yet living together. You guys still aren't living together? We are. I mean, he sleeps here, but it's only a matter of time before Sheldon has a bad dream and tries to climb into bed with the Leonard-shaped pile of pillows. It's actually Bernadette actress Melissa Rauch who flops the line here, but Quoco reassures her that it's all good. It's good. Just wish Leonard would work up the courage to tell Sheldon he's moving in here. You guys still am Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> However, her affections for her colleague quickly melt away when they have to start over. Suddenly, it's not so cute anymore. Still, we imagine audiences at the live taping got a thrill out of watching this faux drama unfold. We know we did. Welcome to <laughs> oh. <gasps> Sorry, guys. Not okay anymore, Melissa. <laughs> Number seven, a few scavenger hunt hiccups. In arguably one of the funniest Big Bang Theory episodes, Penny's competitive streak takes over as she fights to prove that she's not a liability. You don't think I'm smart enough. You think I'm going to be a liability, even though I totally just used the word liability correctly in a sentence. And indeed, she's quick on her feet, both literally and figuratively. However, behind the scenes, a couple of hiccups could have hindered her and Sheldon's chances. Firstly, no matter how hard they try, those seatbelts just won't budge, and it's all about safety first. To the planetarium! Let's go! <laughs> Kaylee also stumbles at one of the final hurdles when she seemingly forgets her lines. Three bags, no one's Optima. <laughs> Damn, Penny, that blunder cost you and Sheldon valuable moments in this race. Number six. Distracted by food. In a since-deleted Instagram post, Quoco shared that she would always skip lunch when they were filming scenes that involved food. Will you cut up hot dogs into little chunks and mix them in with the sauce? I don't have hot dogs. Oh, it's all right, I do. Oh, you're in for what my mother calls a real Italian treat. And Scott London, the props master on the show, revealed that he would often cook the food we see on screen. Although we can't confirm he cooked this specific dish, 
Nevertheless, in this season 3 episode, Penny and Sheldon enjoy each other's company over a plate of spaghetti with cut up hot dog. While this is Sheldon's comfort dish, Kaylee enjoys it too. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Mm, I do. So much so that she doesn't mind when they have to retake, because it just means she can keep on eating. Relatable. Hats off to the chef. Number 5. The honeymoon period is over. Leonard and Penny's marriage is in trouble before it even begins. That's what kissing another woman will do to a relationship. Because we love each other. Yes. And it's the happiest day of our life. <laughs> Don't push it. Still, they decide to go through with their Vegas wedding. However, Penny later realizes she's not as over Leonard's infidelity as she thought. When they return home, the pair continue the argument as they head to their separate apartments. I asked you over and over if you were okay. Why would you go through with the wedding if you weren't? I thought I was okay, but it turns out I'm not. We can totally understand why Penny might be upset, but Leonard fires back with a low blow. In the cut that made it to air, Penny looks shocked but doesn't respond or move, and the scene swiftly changes. Perhaps this blooper explains why. I may not have been entirely faithful, but you, you are not easy to lift. <laughs> Number 4. Does the Wi-Fi taste good? In the earlier seasons, Penny would sometimes take advantage of Leonard's infatuation with her. I'm a little low on cash. How much you got? Nothing. How can you walk around with no money? I'm cute, I get by. It's okay, you can help me. Thank you. Sure, why would she pay for food or Wi-Fi when she can get it so readily across the hall? Only one problem, Sheldon. In a bid to stop her freeloading ways, he changes their password. Hi, did Sheldon change the Wi-Fi password again? Uh, yeah, it's Penny already eats our food, she can pay for Wi-Fi. <laughs> no spaces. It's savage and has more characters than we care to remember, but it doesn't put Penny off. Although, as this outtake shows, she does get a little confused about what one typically does with a working internet connection. Okay, if you can't get me to stop eating your food, what makes you think you can get me to stop eating your Wi-Fi? <laughs> it's not exactly our taste, but perhaps she'd like a side of Wi fries with that. Number 3. That Pesky Soft Kitty When it comes to singing Soft Kitty, Sheldon can be rather demanding, and boy doesn't Penny know it. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. <laughs> Now you. In this scene, Shellbot asks Penny to sing him his comfort song, but interrupts her when it's not quite loud enough. She moves closer and carries on from where she left off, but of course, that's not good enough for him. Happy kitty, sleepy No. Ki you have to start over. <laughs> Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Well, in this outtake, Sheldon's interruption seems to throw off Kaylee's flow entirely. What makes it even funnier is that Sheldon's subsequent line works almost too perfectly with the gaff. Closer to the microphone. <sighs> Happy kid. Ooh. No. You're right. <laughs> Sorry, that what? was so bad. And she plays along, making this blooper all the more memorable. Number two, is that how the Vulcans salute? The Big Bang Theory often spotlighted nerd culture, and with all their talk about Star Wars, Star Trek, and endless superheroes, you'd think the cast might have learned a thing or two along the way. Greetings, Mary Cooper. I am Spock. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't buy it. So in this episode, when Quoco tries and fails to do the Vulcan salute, well, it's highly illogical. It's not until the audience starts laughing and someone calls to her from off camera that she realizes her mistake. Can I do it wrong? <laughs> I did it! I'm gonna do it all oh, this way. Quoco gets a quick refresher on the famous gesture, and the audience love it. She good humouredly responds to their laughter, but perhaps she would have preferred it if Scotty had just beamed her away. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. What's Penny's last name? Quoco's thrown off course when her scene mate brings up the question all BBT fans have been wondering. I have problems. I don't have problems. You're the one here with me. You, you have the problem. You don't have problems? What's your last name? I don't know. <laughs> 
Monkeys. It's such a ridiculous answer, even she can't help cracking up. Can you guess what the other is? A hint, sometimes they pack the alcohol in their trunks. Monkeys. <laughs> Know your cues. Someone's a little eager. Oh, sh <laughs> Quoco's commitment is really poppin'. How Jim Parsons doesn't break sooner, we'll never understand. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Penny really enjoys Raj and Howard's music. Sometimes a scene is just so darn funny that even after multiple takes, it's impossible to remain poker-faced. Indy's whip snapped, Thor's hammer miss. It was Avenger! Versus archaeologist. Case in point, Howard and Raj's concert at the comic book store in the ninth season. Everyone gathers to hear their debut song, Thor and Dr. Jones, which contains some interesting rhyming couplets, like our personal favourite. Indy held his ground and straightened his fedora. Thor said, that's a nice look in 1944. And as you can see in this blooper, Quoco has a hard time keeping it together. One with the lightning, the other <laughs> Now, let's go to the takes shown in the episode. You can tell she's trying not to laugh, but when her co-stars really go for it, she can no longer hold back. Oh, Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.